Now, this is probability. Um, we have the question one and question two. So to approach the question one, the question one only asks us to find probability that the two balls picked at random from two white balls and three blue balls, that the two balls are of different color, that is one white, one blue. Okay. But before doing that, we want to add additional you know, questions and be, be able to explain the concept properly so that you can understand the basics of probability. The first thing we need to know is the probability of an event. Probability, probability of an event equal to number of what is required from you. So number of required outcomes. Number of required outcomes divided by number of possible outcomes. That is the total chances that are available outcomes. So in this case, we have in the box or anywhere they are in the box. So we have some balls. Two are white. One and two. If I fill them with color, we show that they are white balls. Then we have other balls there. Three that are blue. So if these are the blue balls, the question gave a condition. It says with replacement. So with replacement simply means that when I pick one ball, like this white, if I pick it out, I'm going to replace it with another white ball, okay? Yes, sir. Before attempting to pick another one. So if initially I have this, which are five in total, so the probability of picking the first white, so probability of picking the first white will be how many white balls are there? There are two, right? Right? Yes, sir. So the, the, the number of required outcomes, chances possible of picking white from among the two is two chances. Then if I, don't, if I just pick anyone at random, there are five balls there. So definitely I have five total chances. So that is two over five for just one ball. If it says without replacement, that means after picking it, I did not replace it, okay? Yes, sir. So I picked it out and I did not replace it. So the chance has reduced to only one white ball and three, this, which is four in total and one. So that will be times the second chance, which is one out of four. But this time around, the question says it is with what? Replacement. So definitely, it's not going to be one over four. So after picking the first white ball, like, let me return it there. So if I pick out the first white ball, I'm going to replace it there, okay? Yes, sir. So as I replaced it there, I want to pick the second one. So this is still going to be another chance of two over five. So the final answer for this will be two times two, which is four, and five times five, which is 25. That means we have answered the first question. Okay. The second question says, what is the probability that they are not white? If I pick out two balls, if the two balls are not white, let me pick the second one because I didn't pick it. So this is picking the second one. But yet I said it must be replaced. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, if the two balls are not white, then they are blue. Okay. Yes, sir. If they are not white, it means they are blue. So that means this will be probability of the two blue for this second uh, question. Okay? Okay, sir. So the second part of the question, if this is A, then the second part, which is B, is a probability that they are not white. Probability of not white. Okay? I use a negative yes, sign sir. to say not white. So probability of not white simply means probability of blue, okay? Because there are only two colors there, 
probability of what? Blue. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But there's a formula for it. The formula will be 1 minus probability of white. Okay? Yes, sir. So we're going to find probability of blue to answer this question. Or we do 1 minus probability of white to answer the question. We can do the two and see that it should give us the same uh, answer. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So probability of blue first. If I want to find the probability of blue, probability that they are both blue means I'll pick the first blue with replacement. So I'm picking the first blue ball, then I'm replacing it there. So the chance of the first one that I pick is three that are possible in the blue out of the total that are five. Then if I want to pick the second blue, the chance of the second blue is still remaining three because I replaced the first one. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Then I return it there back. So with this, I'm multiplying by another chance of three out of five total. So this will give three times three, that is nine, and five times five, that is 25. Okay. So that means this is our answer for this second question that says probably that they are not white, okay? Yes, sir. But let us now use this formula because this is the direct formula for that. So probability of not white should be should be 1 minus probability of white. But we will not use the combined probability of the two white balls. We will separate them, okay? Yes, sir. So this will be 1 minus the first one times 1 minus the second white, okay? Yes, sir. So 1 minus 2 over 5 times... 1 minus 2 over 5. So, in this case, we have the LCM to be 5, and this is 5 minus 2, then times another 5 minus 2 over 5. So, this is going to be 3 over 5 times 3 over 5. Is that clear? Yes, sir. So, this eventually will give us 9 over 25, which is the same as this answer. Which is probably so that means if it is not white, it must be blue, right? Yes, sir. So probability of not white is equal to probability of blue. Is that clear now? Yes, sir. Good. So um I need to put on my uh generator, but I will allow you to put down this first part, okay? So just keep writing out back. Is that okay, okay sir. So. Yeah. To solve this one that says, what is the probability that they are of different colors? That's the third question there. So uh, we have two white and uh, three blue. Two white and three blue. So let's move this to the next page. Let's see. Copy and uh, drop it here. So this is the situation we have, and the question we're trying to answer is the probability that the two balls speed at random are blue and white. So blue and white. Okay. So to solve this, we're going to picture the scenario like um, could be white first, then blue. Okay? Yes, sir. So, probability of different colors. Colors. Oh, that's a color. Colors will be either white. And blue white then blue okay 
Yes, sir. Or blue, then white. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Blue and white. So, attempting this, we have probability of white there is 2 out of 5. Probability of blue is 3 out of 5. Or, the or in probability means addition, while the and means multiplication, okay? Yes, sir. So, this will be or 3 over 5 times 2 over 5. Now, the arrangement seems not to matter because of their multiplication. So it could be 2 over 5 times 3 over 5 and 2 over 5 times 3 over 5 to be added together. But the arrangement is going to matter if they say without replacement. Let's assume it's without replacement. The first option will be 2 out of 5. Then for the uh, blue, it will be 3 out of 4 because it will remain 4, okay? Yes, sir. Then the last option for um, blue now, the, this particular option will become remaining 2 blue now over 3 that remains. Then times, once you have removed uh, 1 from the 3 that remains, it's going to remain 2, okay? So then the other choice is only one color of white that remain over the two. So this would have been what we wanted to do, okay? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. So but for this case that says with replacement, we are not doing that. We're simply multiplying this. So 2 times 3 is 6, and this is 25. Then 3 times 2 is also 6. This is 25. So if you add this together, you have 12 over 25. Okay? Yes, sir. Good. Then the second question. The second question says, there are uh, 40 identical balls. Let's take note of that. It says there are 40. So, 40 identical balls. We won't be drawing balls this time around. Uh, 10 are red, so number of red equal 10, 12 are blue, number of blue equal 12. So this is just 22, so it doesn't make up 40, okay? Because you said there are 40 balls, right? Yes, sir. So this doesn't make up 40. Uh, remain what to make 40? Remain 18, okay? Yes, sir. To make it 40. So if we add 18 to this, we get 40. Fine. Now, th that's going to give us a clue into what our answer should be. If a ball is selected at random from the box, what is the problem that it is not red and not blue? If it's not red and it's not blue, then it must be from the remaining 18, okay? Right? Yes, sir. So, probability that it is not red, neither red, nor uh, blue, okay? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So, probability of neither red, nor blue ideally should be the remaining 18 over 40 which we can reduce to 2 here 9 and 2 here 20. but let us now see the proper way to you know do this if we want probability of not red that will be one minus probability of red okay Yes, sir. So what we have is this neither uh, red nor blue can be translated again as 1 minus probability 
of uh, red and uh, one minus probability of blue okay yes sir so what should be the probability of red that should be 10 out of 40 okay so 1 yes, minus sir. 10 over 40 and 1 minus 12 over 40. So let's see how this goes. So then we have this will be 1 minus 1 over 4, you know, and 1 minus uh, 4 here is 4 here is 3, right? And 4 in 40 yes, is 10. Are you there now? Yes, sir. And now we can combine this statement as 1 minus 1 over 4 minus 3 over 10. Okay? Because it's yes, saying no, no. If it is or, we add it together. So this will now be the LCM here is 20. So 1 in 20, that's 20. 20 times 1, that's 20. Minus 4 here, that's 5. 5 times 1, 5. And minus 10 here is 2. 2 times 3, 6. So this will be 20 minus 11. That what? 9 over 20. So if you recollect at the top, we got 9 over 20, right? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. So that is how to approach such questions. So if we don't want to use the second method, we've used the first method of question our answer, right? But let us assume they now give us several probabilities for maybe it's not the 18 that remain is not a single color. Is that clear? Yes, sir. So they give us several probabilities, or they give us some conditions, then we will just need to go by, since we already know the total, we just need to go by 1 minus probability of red and 1 minus probability, which is, when we combine them, it will be 1 minus probability of red, no, and neither red nor, so that will be 1 minus the two of them, which gives us this. So I'll give you some time to write this down. Then we look into more questions. So probably you start from the last part of this one above, okay? Okay, so.